how to blend. All right, let's blend some stuff. What you're looking at here is gradients. Obviously they are gradients. I did not blend these. These are made with a gradient tool. Why am I bringing up a gradient tool? Because you're try when you are blending, you're trying to get everything to kind of look like a gradient. You're trying to get it to look as smooth as this. Usually, for the most part. Not with everything. But I just wanted to put this up here as an example because one of the biggest things about blending is first and foremost let's let's get the, something out of the way here if you don't know how to draw then you have no business trying to blend anything okay because what you're doing is you're just polishing a turd essentially and uh, that's one of the reasons why I, I, I teach fundamentals learn how to draw learn how to draw please now if you know how to draw then you will start to want to render and I call it rendering I don't call it blending I try not to but that's essentially what you're trying to do when you are blending let's get this out of the way I'm gonna clear this or either hide this layer here the first thing that you want to keep in mind now I just did something about uh, your brushes and digital painting to getting started you want to know how all of your brushes operate and how they will blend so so I got this brush right here and I'm just putting down color then I'm going to pick another color and put it right next to it now I'm going back and forth as I am laying down color this does not mean that when you are ready to blend well let me show you so there are many ways to blend this is all I'm keeping everything on the same layer so I'm gonna try and choose this color right here in the middle and I'm gonna go in and do this then I'm gonna choose this right here and then I'm gonna try and blend this out right here and then I'm gonna choose this color and I'm gonna try and blend this then I'm gonna blend this oh wait I got this part over here and I'm gonna try and blend this in oh shit I went over too much wait let me try and blend this line out well, hold on now I gotta try and get right between here and blend this oh wait a minute I gotta do this over here this is what this is the reason why a lot of you are not blending or rendering things correctly is because you're first of all this is the wrong brush to blend with out of these are my custom brushes that I made you need to know how to make custom brushes uh, you don't need to but there's usually some sort of blending brush but when you're going back and forth because you're seeing people you're seeing people on YouTube especially when they're doing the speed painting you're seeing them do stuff like this and I've said this over and over again they're doing stuff like this and then all of a sudden they can layer this because they've been painting and digital painting for like 10 years five to ten years and they happen to be really good at it but you don't see all the work that they're putting in it you're just seeing a speed painting which is just a a snapshot of their current skills so let's first of all what you should be doing is find out where your blending brushes are and if you don't have a blending brush then you need to make a blending brush that's first and foremost this is I believe this is one of my blending brushes let's go because I've uh, so this is my blender copy this is a blender brush that I have and as you can see this is a little bit lighter and and you see me going back and forth because I just want to show you how light this is that is what this does if I bring this color down it's still gonna remain pretty light I have this this is another blender brush 
This has a bit of texture to it. This is a custom brush I also made. By the way, if you want to know how to make custom brushes in Sketchbook Pro, that's what I'm using. I do have a, a free course on that. So check it out. It's free. Anyway, let's get back to the blending here. So a lot of the times you're seeing people use the chalk brush in Photoshop. And guess what? Photoshop may not be your thing. And if Photoshop isn't your thing, don't try to force yourself into Photoshop. People say all the time, well, it's the industry standard. It's the industry standard. Saving files in Photoshop is an industry standard. What you choose to paint with is up to you. And if you've ever been paying attention to anything going on within the industry, you know that people in the industry are having a hard time finding fucking jobs. So I would probably say that do whatever program you're comfortable in. If that's Paint Tool Sci, use Paint Tool Sci. If that is uh, Clip Studio Paint or Manga Studio, use that. If it's Art Rage, use that. You use what is going to give you the best work. And when you get that program, a piece of software, start to make your own custom blending brushes. I think that a blending brush, you should know how heavy your hand is. I have a very heavy hand when I am when I am drawing something or if I am painting something I have a very heavy hand so I have to keep that in mind and I have more than one version of a of a blending sort of brush these are not blending brushes I think this one is a little bit more depending on what I'm trying to do you want to get yourself a custom set of blending brushes but let's talk about this area up in here you saw that when I'm trying to blend this Now I'm just pressing harder. I'm going to press uh, pressing harder. So if I wanted to make that, say I wanted to lighten it up, and I want to go in and press softer, notice what I'm doing. I'm going in one direction. I'm treating this as if this is a real paintbrush. That's what I'm doing. I like to go into the direction of whatever shape that I am using. I think it's really important for you to be neat and take your time and go into that direction. No more of this. We're not going to do any more of this. If you're watching this, please don't. Please stop it. We don't want to keep doing this kind of stuff, no matter what brush you're using. Now, if you want to lay some color down over an area, I understand that but there's absolutely no rush to blend anything so what you really would ideally you would just want to go and go over this and when you get in and you try to blend it's it makes a world of difference just a simple little thing right here all the stuff you've been watching that's great watch speed painting videos I love watching them too I love to watch other artists work but I found that if you just take your time especially when you're beginning take your time and just blend pay attention to where you start and to where you end pay attention at how heavy your hand is that the, these things are so important they are often overlooked if I want to smooth this area out right here now I can go in and I can hit alt which is usually on most programs or most pieces of software and I just want to blend this really soft I just want to erase that little line right there that's what I'm essentially trying to do and I can go right here and I can blend this in a little bit now of course there are things like the add water blender that most pieces of software have it smooths it out a lot more and if that is the way that you blend then that's fine there's nothing wrong with that and I could take this and I can move this back so I'm taking the lighter area sampling it and moving it back I also have a pencil blender uh, that acts much more like the natural blender that's there and I could take that but I'm just going in one direction and you see how this is getting pushed back into the other direction I don't mind a little texture with my blending that's just my own personal style 
but what does this mean for but how exactly is this going to help you or how can I help you that's why you're watching this video right I'm going to uh, hit pause and through the amazing uh, video editing technology we are now looking at the blending worksheet now I have this on both my blog and hopefully you'll be able to download it and I also have it on my patreon page which it's, it's it'll be free up there for you uh, you'll just be able to you should be able just to drag it onto your desktop what I've done is this uh, once you've decided what your blending brushes are because every every single piece of software is different every brush has its own set of traits and characteristics and how it behaves and I did a br and I did a video on that on getting started with digital painting I can also put the link to that and it kinda explains to you about knowing your tools it's very important so if you want so what essentially what you want to do is take this and you want to blend just a simple blend I'm gonna grab this little puffy brush and see what it does and I'm just kinda bringing this up I don't like that and this is gonna be trial and error for you guys which is probably the best way that you're gonna do this that's not good how about this I can barely see that I'm not getting enough that's okay but I can barely see that so what happens if I use that okay that's a little better can I blend these two in here I don't know let's see and the only thing that I want is just for you to erase this line and so I'm taking this and I'm just pushing this down up to this line and I want to go from taking the other side and bringing it down and I also want to stay in the lines and now I'm taking this and I'm pushing this across and that's all I'm gonna do with this sheet I want to take this and push this across I'm gonna probably take a area right here and bring this down a little bit and I'm trying to see how smooth I can get this blend just bringing this down I want these little lines here to disappear so I got this thing kinda of going here so now maybe I want to take whatever my blending brush is and I wanna go into this area I'm going to hit alt I'm selecting this area and now I'm bringing this down and I'm just going in one direction here now this may not be going as fast as you want it to go but take your time especially if you're trying to learn how to do this just take your time I'm gonna take this little area in here I'm gonna sample this and I'm gonna try and get rid of that line you may not like the blending you may not like this blending brush that whatever brush that you're using you may want to use something totally different and you see how you get I'm getting outside of the lines well if you want most place most pieces of software have some sort of selection tool that's not the right selection tool that I want what you want to do is just go into this area and take that and you should be able to work here you won't go outside of that line right there and what we're doing is blending this now I'm gonna take this black and I'm gonna bring this up and I'm trying to I'm just trying to make this as smooth as possible I'm also paying attention to what kind of texture this is leaving as well maybe I've got the brush up too big maybe I just want to bring this down a little bit and this is this is just a technique that I am using 
you don't have to use this technique but I just find that this is just a bit uh, easier I'm really trying to get rid of these lines that are here so I'm going to sample up a little bit and I'm not using the airbrush I'm not going to try to use the airbrush the airbrush can get out of hand a little bit and I'm just going back and forth this is this is not the sexy work that you thought it was going to be but this is the stuff that that helps now what I can do is I can take this alt and I'm hitting right between that line and I'm gonna drag across to kind of maybe get rid of this line a little bit and I see it starting to disappear and I'm just going in one direction I'm trying to keep this as neat as possible then I could take that and bring this up maybe bring this back down and I'm just trying to make this disappear maybe I'll switch up brushes who knows and the other thing about this is that when you have your brushes you can kinda see how it is that you want to blend what I'm showing you is just a technique so let me let me go ahead and grab this brush make it a little bit bigger and I'm just doing this very lightly and it's blending a lot better but I laid in the groundwork first and I would prefer you to practice using a blending brush first don't really rely on don't rely on using some sort of blending brush like I have here because you, you easily could have done this and there would have been nothing wrong with it but if you want to get a little bit better at this because even some of the blending uh, brushes and tools are not necessarily the answer I'm gonna experiment a little bit I'm gonna grab this add water brush you see that little line that it gave me over there I didn't particularly like that now you see it's this is actually not doing too bad of a job but as I get to the end over there I'm getting a little bit of that texture so maybe I'll bring that down a little bit maybe if I go across like this it'll erase some of that maybe if I do the same thing it'll erase a little bit of that line and now I'm gonna back off of it and I'm just seeing how my blend looks you wanna get up you wanna back away and zoom out and zoom in to see how well you're doing with your blend and just seeing if you just cause all you're doing is just blending this into that you're not worried about color we're just worried about just gonna worry about value I just wanna see this gray and this black work together and I got a little bit of a uh, gray down here so maybe I want to take this brush bring it up a little bit maybe go back to the blending brush find out how it is that you work I'm showing you a technique and you may like it I would just say my biggest takeaway from this is to know what bl brushes blend how they blend how they fit to your hand and what method and I would say just go into one direction just go into one direction and see because what I'm doing right here you may there there is just no one size fits all when it comes to rendering this right here might be absolutely appropriate for something and and not not effective for something else. I could even make this bigger. So this is going to be the end of part two. I have, or the end of part one. I have the blending brush, not the blending brush, the blending worksheet for you. If you want to follow the link, it should be there. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, which should be a part two. So go ahead, use the blending worksheet. And as you can see, uh, you're going to go from gray to light, and then you're going to go from light to black, and then another from this side to this side. 
and this one is going to be going through all three. And so just practice your blends going in one direction and see how smooth you can get that. All right, that'll be it. Peace. Wait before you go, please don't forget to subscribe or you can go ahead and click the link to check out one of my tutorials.